Hi everyone, you're watching the Advanced Canva series. If you're not familiar with Canva, watch our Canva Crash Course series where you'll be able to go through and learn how to create a free account and learn the basics of Canva and what it can do. If you're already familiar with Canva, then let's get started. In this video, we're going to make question and answer graphics for your social media page using Canva's templates and design elements. A question and answer or a Q&A post is a broad term for any post that answers a question. Other post formats that fall under this category would be frequently asked questions or FAQ posts and did you know posts. What's great about Q&A posts is it gives you the opportunity to talk more about what you do or offer for your business. The best way to structure these is to think of what you want to advertise, your service or products, a sale or event, or some piece of information that you want your customers to know and ask a question where that would be the answer. For instance, let's say I own a daycare and I want parents to know that I take care of children from the ages of two to five. That's what I want my answer to be. So I need to think of a question to match. I could ask a question like, how old does my child have to be to attend daycare? Or the question could be, my child is three years old. Can they start daycare? Based on the ages I said I take care of, the answer to both of these would be yes. And then I can go on to explain why my answer is yes. And by doing so, I can talk about my business. For example, my full answer could be yes. We accept children ages two to five. Our daycare features a toddler side where we focus on social and cognitive skills and a preschool side where we focus on core academic skills they'll need to be ready for kindergarten. And with that, you've not only answered their question, but you've also advertised your program so that parents know some of what you offer for your daycare. With that in mind, we're going to search some of Canva's templates and see what they have to offer. We'll go up to the search bar and type in answer. We've got a few options here. And since I've already come up with a question and an answer, I'll use that example to make the Q&A post. You'll notice that at the bottom left of each thumbnail, there's a free icon or a paid icon. The paid ones usually include photos or elements that you'll need to purchase the license for. But if you like the design and have your own images, these are still options you can use. For ease of use, I'm going to select one of the free versions for this video. Keep in mind that almost everything about these can be changed or added to. So if you like the layout of one, but not the coloring or the elements in it, you can choose it anyway, and then just change what you want to. I'll go ahead and choose this one for this video. So once we click on that, there's a couple of things we want to do. We need to change the wording, change the elements and change the colors. Let's start with the wording. In this section right here, we want to type in our question. Our question will be shorter and simpler. My child is three years old. Can they start daycare? So let's go ahead and type that out here. Now we'll need room for our answer. So we need to move it up towards the top of the box. So we'll delete this element here to make room and then move this up towards the top. Now let's type in our answer and we'll write that here. Now we see that we have a bit of empty space at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and center this text and move it until we see those solid purple lines showing that it's centered. So now we can go through and change the text style to fit our theme. With Canva, you can actually search different styles using descriptor words. In this case, we can go ahead and search kids and see what shows up. There's plenty of free options here that we can choose from. With a Q&A, you can have one style text and another more plain text, or you can have the same text to keep it consistent. The important thing is to make sure that it's easy to read. 
For this video, I'll choose a style text for the question and then a more plain text for the answer so it's easier to read. We'll go ahead and go with this one for the question. And we can actually keep this style text here for the answer, since it's easy enough to read. Now that we've got the text, let's change the colors. If I'm a daycare, I'm going to want to have some brighter, more playful colors, kid-like colors, and I'll just need to change the background for this template. Once we've done that, we can go through and find colored elements to match. So let's say I want to use the colors red, blue, and yellow for my Q&A. I'll need to pick one color for the background and then use the other colors as accent colors. We'll go ahead and click on our background here and click on the color blocks at the top left. And let's go ahead and choose this blue for the background. And we'll go ahead and delete these elements since we're going to be switching them out with other ones. If you wanted to, you could change the color of the text, but you want to make sure that it's easy to read. If you have text on a white background, having black text is the easiest contrast to make, so it makes it easier to read for your audience. With that said though, we can add some elements to this template to make it more interesting, but I'll go ahead and keep the black text right now. So now that we've got our text figured out, let's go to that elements tab and find some relevant elements to go with our Q&A. Our other colors in our palette were yellow and red. So now is a good opportunity to find those colored elements to add to our post. So let's go to the search bar and look up toys. We want to choose elements that go with our topic and fit with the layout of the Q&A. For instance, these puzzle pieces will fit in the top corner here. So we can go ahead and click on this and move it. And we'll go ahead and resize it down and put it right about there. And then this robot down here can fit in the bottom right corner. And we'll go ahead and resize them down a little bit. And we'll put it right about there next to the text. And there we go. We've got our text, our colors, and our elements ready to go. Looking at this post though, it still looks a little plain. Our background is just a single color. Nothing really exciting. One way that we can fix that is to check out the backgrounds tab. The background tab is another way to give your post character and Canva has several options to choose from. We can scroll through here and see what's available. For this post in particular, we don't want to include any kind of photo. It'll be too busy and too distracting for your audience like this. Here it's just too busy and too hard to read because there's so many different colors going on and it kind of distracts away from the text that you have already written. We want something simpler and something that matches the background color that we originally had. So we definitely want to find that blue color again. Simple patterns are great and solid gradient colors work as well. This one would work perfectly. It's the color we want, it's using simple shapes, and it's not distracting us from the text. So let's click on this to put it as the background. And there. If you find that it's still too distracting, you can always change the opacity of the background and make it so that there's a slight hint of something in the background. We can go up here to these fading blocks and change the transparency. So we can bring it down to right about there. We can still see it in the background, but it's a little less prominent than before, making it less distracting. And there you go. You're ready to save this and post to social media. For those who have trouble coming up with questions to answer, or maybe you want to answer more relevant questions that you know people want answered instead of trying to guess, there are two websites that can help you with this. AnswerSocrates.com and AnswerThePublic.com. With either of these websites, you can type in what people are asking questions about, whether it's about your product or service. For example, I can type in daycare and it'll show me different questions that people are searching for answers for. From here, you can pick whatever questions you want and give your own answer to them. 
that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone and happy designing!